Welcome to Palmetto Bluff. I'm Charlie Bales and I've been the forest and wildlife manager here for more than 25 years. While you enjoy your four mile drive to the village, I thought I could use this time to tell you a little about this remarkable place. For instance, the road you're now traveling was used by Native Americans before Europeans ever took it appears on pre-colonial maps of the area and has always been the main route to the mouth of the May River. Some of these trees may have been here for over 150 years. be aware that you are passing a private residential neighborhood on your left consisting of home sites from 14 to 30 acres. In a large site along the river zoned for up to 90 homes, only 10 family compounds were developed. A total of about 600 acres was put into a conservation easement. As you can imagine, I've seen a lot of changes over the years, especially in the past five. But what's been more exciting to me is all the things that haven't changed. We still have to carefully manage our natural resources. We recently had so many fish in one of our lakes that we had to transfer almost a thousand to another pond. In many ways, when you get off the beaten path, this property remains as beautiful and natural as it was a hundred years ago, and it will stay that way. With an overall scale of 20,000 acres in the original land track, Palmetto Bluff is about one and a half times the size of Manhattan Island and two-thirds the size of Hilton Head. Only about half the property will be developed. The rest will remain in open space and conservation. $14 million has been spent for environmental studies and stormwater runoff control to protect 32 miles of river and marsh frontage which surround the property. We intend to keep it as pristine as it is today. Permitting allows for 5,000 dwellings, only about half that many will be built at Palmetto Bluff, making this one of the lowest density communities in America. A large percentage of these homes will be concentrated in two or more village areas, with the remaining acreage in conservation or very low density, low impact residential development. a little of the early background of Palmetto Bluff and the plans that have been created for it. Tommy Basden, who heads our marketing and public relations, will tell you more about those plans. Well, Charlie was here long before me, but I was around for some of the very earliest meetings on what this place should become. From the first day we set foot here, it was clear that this was intended to be not a project, but a place. The intrinsic value here lies in the natural beauty, the vastness and richness of its sea island landscape. To believe that we could improve upon this by replacing it would be unthinkable. Rather, we set out to preserve and protect 
one of America's most treasured landscapes, while creating a settlement for those who will cherish this unique environment. By allowing the land to guide us, rather than imposing a developer template, we are crafting a plan that respects its physical form, the topography, the wetlands, the diverse maritime forest, and the miles of undulating marsh and river edge. This vision of Palmetto Bluff as a place, rather than a project, is the more challenging path. It requires that we remain authentic, that we unlearn much of what the last 35 years of development in this region has taught us. The village of Wilson represents the culmination of years of study and research into the small coastal towns of the South and the characteristics which make them distinctive. Overlooking the river and adjacent to the inn lie the ruins of the R.T. Wilson mansion. Palmetto Lodge, as it was known, was built in 1912 and burned to the ground in 1926. An interpretive history center beside the post office contains photos and historical notes on this amazing home. The village offers a wide range of recreational activities and attractions. Boat storage, the spa, signature shops and restaurants. All are open to the public and within easy walking distance of the village square. If you want more information about any aspect of Palmetto Bluff, you may wish to visit our website at www.palmetto-bluff.com. We hope you enjoy your visit to Palmetto Bluff as generations before you have done, and we hope that you will visit us again.